Hello everyone and welcome to the first Robins Reel for 2020. We are currently in the Aboriginal season of Birak and rapidly approaching Bunaroo, which is the hottest, driest period of the year traditionally. As the seasons fly by, it shows us just how quickly the year is moving and how quickly we are moving into a very busy time for our health service as the new year kicks off for real. Firstly, I wanted to say a huge thank you to you all once again for the amazing effort you've put in in the Fiver for Fire day. So far we've raised well over $11,000 and the money's continuing to come in. We're donating to WISE and the Red Cross and you can continue to donate if you haven't had an opportunity to until Friday the 24th. Thank you all for the amazing effort. Continuing with amazing, 141 applications were received for the IF program. This overwhelming response really put a test on us as we waded through them all reading your really interesting ideas of what you'd like to make a change on in the health service. It's taken a bit longer than we thought because of the volume but we've finally got to the end and soon we'll be coming back out with all of those who we were able to support in a program. Those who weren't supported your ideas were still absolutely unbelievable and there's lots of more opportunities for you to participate in the program going forward. We look forward to the workshops commencing in February, March and seeing the outcome of the programs. There's lots happening in the information management and technology space. WA Health is moving from its current platforms to a new platform in a project called Health Next. This means that over the coming year there will be outages in many of the applications that you regularly use. If you'd like more information on this and to be prepared, please go to the hub so you can see the schedule. In addition, we've got new platforms coming across with Office 365 and Windows 10 and you'll see some of the upgrades as they occur and the benefits that they can bring you. For further information, please continue to check back to the hub page so that you're across all of the great things that are occurring. Staying with the technology theme, we've also got an upgrade coming for those using telehealth. The upgrade will replace Scopia and should make the user interface much better for you all in your everyday work. If you use Scopia or are interested in moving some services to telehealth, again check the hub page. It's a growing form we really want to grow in our usage and give patients much better access without having to come into the hospital where they don't need to. Finally, I wanted to remind you of the Going the Extra Mile Awards. These staff recognition awards are designed to uncover the hidden gems right across North Metropolitan Health Service. Nominations close on the 7th of February. There's 11 categories and I'm sure that you'll know someone who you'll want to nominate for them. In May, we'll have the inaugural gala event and our sponsors have very generously supporting the awards for this. Please check out the hub and don't forget to nominate. It was great to see many of you at the CE forums over the last week. If you didn't get a chance to get along, they're available on the hub if you'd like to have a look. In the meantime, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you again in two weeks.